So on this one, I'm going to use a different uh, technique. And this one's pretty good. I don't usually use it, but a lot of people like it. Uh, this is all just outside corner stuff right here. So, I mean, this is like as easy as it gets for welding aluminum. But a lot of people like this technique where you, instead of uh, filling, move, fill, move, fill, move, fill, move, what they'll do is fill, stay for a second, move, dab, stay for a second, dab, and I'll show you that. I also switch to a number five cup. When I'm welding aluminum, number five is like the best for getting inside like uh, joints like, say I'm doing a coke joint for tubing. I love this. The number seven is just a little too big to get in there. And for some reason it clouds up more. This does awesome. But for outside corners, I usually use a number seven. And that's what that looks like. Um, it's alright. The reason I don't like it, or it's not that I don't like it, that I don't use it, is you can see a little bit of cloudiness. And when you have a transformer machine, that's even worse. Because you're stopping. So what that arc is doing after you fill, you stop. That arc is doing the cleaning action. So that new metal that just solidified is getting cleaned and then moving then it's cleaning so it's that dull gray um, you can kind of see it on the video but whereas you look at this and that's all nice and shiny silver it's kind of a dull gray that's why I don't use this technique very much 